Hey guys, I am so excited to tell you that we will be using Zern for math for the rest of the year. So we are familiar with it because we've used it in class, but I know it's been a while and you've been at home and um, things are just a little bit different. So I wanna go through it to make sure you remember everything and just to help you out with your first mission. So I am going to go ahead and do that. You will be expected to do this every day for 60 minutes. And this is kind of how I'll be keeping track of how you're doing and um, what you need help with and also just like kind of attendance for school. So here we go. I'm going to share my screen and we're going to get started. Okay. So you'll start by going to zern.org. Z-E-A-R-N dot O-R-G. Enter. And username will be your first name plus your last four digits of that eight digit ID number. So um, if my last name, I mean, sorry, my first name was Carloni, I would put Carloni. If my eight digit ID number was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I would do the last four digits. So five, six, seven, eight. Everybody's um, password is Wildcats, W-I-L-D-C-A-T-S, no capitals. Okay. Now I'm going to need my class code. So um, if you've already logged in, you probably won't need this, but if for some reason it asks you, it is U as in unicorn, Q as in quarantine, seven, D as in dinosaur, six, G as in giraffe, join class. Okay, so this is what you'll get for your first screen. Um, we always are gonna start with Number Gym. Everyone's starting out on Mission 3, Level 1, In and Out. So this is just gonna be where everyone's gonna start. And Number Gym is fluency, form to form it says. So we're gonna start it. Okay, here we go. Okay, we got this. Here we go. Our first one, one ten and six ones. So we know we have one ten, so let's add that, and six ones. So let's add that. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that would make 16. Yay. Next one. Close. I think we're on our last one. Ooh, 40. So what do I have in my tens place? I have a four, which means I have four tens. So one, two, three, four. What do I have in my ones place? I have zero. What does that mean? Hmm, I know that if it's zero, I probably don't have any ones. So I know that I have four tens and zero ones, which would be 40. We made some time. Ooh, exciting. That's exciting. So now I hit done. And I would move on to my next one, which is blast. So let's start blast. 15 questions and it's gonna be multiplication and division and we're just gonna do it as fast as we can. Two times two is four, three times two is six, four times two is eight, five times two is 10, two time, one times two is two, four divided by two is two, six divided by two is three, 10 divided by two is five, two divided by one is two, eight divided by two is four, six times two is 12, seven times two is 14, eight times two is 16, nine times two is 18, 10 times two is 20. Okay, so I did as fast as I could, and now I'm gonna check my work. Two times two is four, three times two is six. We'll check them all. Ooh, I got five in a row, 10 in a row, 15 in a row, yay. Okay, so now I get a bonus round. So I'm gonna do it again, go. I'm gonna close that out because I'm done with it. I'm done number gym, I'll close that out. And let's start our math chat. So I'm gonna go ahead and click start. And this will be a video that you need to watch to get to the pow Tower of Power. Um, it will help you with the Tower of Power and it will help you just make sure that you know what you're doing. Now, before we start, you will use notes for this. And if you remember in class, we had notes, but since you don't have them, I would just suggest getting a notebook or just getting a bunch of blank paper and keeping it in a folder or something. And you can write your own notes. 
if you're someone who really needs your notes and your parents can print them out, then reach out to me and I'll send them a copy. Um, but it's not necessary. I have my notebook here. I, um, my notebook, my pencil, and I can just do my notes right on here, no problem. So I'm gonna um, walk through a little bit of the video with you, but you're expected to watch the whole video to help you out, okay? So let's go back, here we go. Unit. Let's try one in our notes now. We're working on Mission 3, Lesson 1. We'll start by finding the perimeter of this rectangle. Pick one of these formulas for perimeter and write it here. Okay, so this is what I was talking about that you can just do it on a notebook. Um, that's completely fine. Let's see. Okay, so I opened up a whiteboard. Um, this could be my blank piece of paper, my notebook um, for my notes. Let's see, let's say mission three, lesson one. And then I'm going to draw my triangle. And I'm going to label it nine centimeters and three centimeters. So I have it labeled just like they have. It didn't take me long, right? It didn't wouldn't take you long to just draw that. And then now it's asking us to find the perimeter. So P equals, we can pick any equation we want. So I'm gonna choose two times length plus width. And our other options would be length plus width plus length plus width or two L plus 2w. So those are all of our options. Let's continue with what it is asking us to do. So I picked one, I wrote it in my notes. You could have written two times the sum of length and width, or length plus width plus length plus width, or two lengths plus two widths. Now, use the formula you just wrote to write an expression for the perimeter using numbers here. See, now it wants me to plug in the numbers. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's do, what would we have? Two times our length, which would be nine, plus our width, which would be three. I'll use this formula. I fill in the length and width like this. Check your work. Is that what we Your got? answer might look different if you used one of the other formulas. So that is what we got. You could also have done length plus width plus length plus width. Or you could have done two times length plus two times width. So you could have done any of those. Let's move that over here. Let's solve for perimeter now. Use the expression you wrote here to find your answer here. Okay, so now if I was solving these, I could do two times nine plus three. What is nine plus three? Because I always do my parentheses first. So nine plus three I know equals 12 times two is 24. Now if I did this, nine plus three plus nine plus three, what is nine plus three? 12 plus nine, 21, plus three, 24. Now what if I did two times nine, which is 18, plus two times three, which is six. So 18 plus six, I would get 24. So I know that my perimeter will equal 24. Nine plus three equals 12. Two times 12 equals 24. The perimeter is 24 centimeters. Check your work. 
that what we got? We did, but we forgot to label. So that's very important with math and perimeter and area is to label your units because otherwise I would say 24 what? 24 ducks, 24 dogs, cats, puppies, or 24 ice cream cones, 24 cookies. No, Miss Carloni, 24 centimeters. So if you don't label it, we don't know what you're talking about. Now let's find the area of this rectangle. Start by writing the formula for area, length times width here. Okay, so I would have my notes here and I solved perimeter over here, right? Now, right next to it, I'm gonna solve for area, length times width. So now I'm gonna plug in a equals length times width. Our length was what? Our length was nine times our width, which is three. Now, what is nine times three? 27. So our area equals 27, but I can't forget my labels for my units. So square centimeters or centimeters squared. Either one would work, but uh, whichever is easiest for you. So that's how I would find my area of that same rectangle. We got 27. Let's see if we were right. Don't skip through it like me. When we know the length and width of a rectangle, we can find its perimeter and area. So now let's think about this another way. Check out this rectangle. Hmm. The length is unknown and the width is five units. If I tell you that the perimeter is 26 units, can you find the length of this side? Yeah, we can. So what I would do is I'm going to, I know that my perimeter equals 26, right? So what is our formula for perimeter? Two times length plus width. So you can do either one, but that's what I'm going to do. And our perimeter, let's plug in what we know is 26 equals two times, we know our length. We know our length is five, and we're missing our width. So now we have to solve for that W that we're missing. So first what I would do is since I know 26 is the whole perimeter, One more. The area of a rectangle is 50 square centimeters. The length of the rectangle is 10 centimeters. How can we determine the width of the rectangle? What does W equal? An area is length times width, right? So if I have the length 10 times width, what is our area? It's 50. What times 10 equals 50? Right? Let's try it. Good. Isn't it fun to find the perimeter and area of rectangles? Yes. Keep up the hard work in the Tower of Power. Okay, now it's time for the Tower of Power. So I'm gonna click Done. I'm going to, I finished my math chat, but if I'm having trouble, I can go back and do it again just to help me. Let's do our Tower of Power now. Okay, so I'm working on my Tower of Power and I just came across this perimeter problem. The numbers are bigger, so it might scare us, but just because the numbers are bigger doesn't mean anything changes and we're smart and we can still do it. So let's start with our perimeter formula. I'm gonna use Perimeter formula, two times length plus width. So let's plug in. 
2 times, what is our length? 97. What is our width? 358. So now we just have to solve it. So my answer would be 910 meters. Remember, don't forget the meters. Look, what does it say all of a sudden? It says lesson two. So it says lesson complete, lesson one, in and out. You watch the video and you climb the Tower of Power. So that's awesome. That means you completed lesson one and you're done for the day. Now, the next time you log in, you'll start with lesson two and you'll do the same thing with fluency and then we do a little bit more fluency. Remember, fluency is just helping us get really fast at our math. Then we get into our lesson where we watch the math chat and do our notes in a notebook. And then we get into the Tower of Power, which really tests us to figure out if we understand what we're learning. So if you have any questions about Zern, you're gonna let me know. And um, I will be posting videos still on Google Classroom. I will post a video that would help you with the five lessons for the week. So. Um, do your best to get five lessons done. If you're working an hour a day and you're only getting four or three done, then that's okay because everybody is different. So as long as you're working an hour a day and you're doing your best, then we'll be all right. So let me know if you have any questions about Zern and I'm very excited to start this on Monday, April 13th.